Hey guys, I'm Tyler and welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to tackle an area of the shop that has been bugging me for years. The shop back right over here. So this is the situation beforehand and as you can see, it's not very good. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know that I've wanted to have a vertical solution for all of this shop back apparatus for the longest time. Today I'm gonna to be using this hose reel from Rockler and some one and a half inch shot back hose to make this vertical solution where we're gonna have shot back, cyclone, and hose above it. This video has been sponsored by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. Visit them at their local store or at rockler.com. Some assembly required. After I was finally able to get the reel out of the box, Ethan and I assembled it using the supplied instructions, which were pretty good. Could have been a little bit clearer with a few steps what I was able to figure out without undoing too many bolts. The reel is made to mount against studs that are on 16 inch centers, but the studs in my shop are on a larger center than that, so I'm going to be mounting a 3 quarter inch piece of scrap plywood against the studs where I know I have a nice firm mounting point, and then I will mount the reel and the cyclone on this scrap board. This was a design on the fly build so I used the pieces themselves to lay out about where I needed them so I had a nice spacing for all the hosing. To make a mounting bracket for the bucket I first used a framing square and a speed square to get some quick measurements of the diameter of the bucket. Once I knew the rough size of the bracket, I cut some pieces of scrap 3 quarter inch plywood on the table saw and laminated them together with wood glue and brad nails so that I could move right along with the build. Based on the measurements of the bucket that I took earlier, I now laid out where I needed to have the center of the diameter on the bracket so that it would actually hold the bucket in place with the natural curve of the cut. Using a homemade compass and a permanent marker, I marked that diameter on the board so that I could move over to the bandsaw and make the cut. And here you can see how the center point of the circular cut in the bracket itself was set back further so that it would curve over the bucket and hold it in place. And now a couple 45 degree sections to hold the bracket in place against the wall mounting plywood. There always seems to be a place for pocket holes and this project is no exception. I will be using pocket holes to mount the bracket onto the wall and to hold these 45 degree sections against the bucket bracket. And everything is assembled with wood glue and one and a quarter inch coarse pocket hole screws. After initially putting the bucket into place, it rocked a little bit more than I was expecting, so I screwed this small section of plywood to the bottom of the wall mounting section and that held it perfectly in place. The Dustrite hose reel comes with some nice heavy duty bolts so that you can mount the reel onto the wall. Here we are mounting it right into the plywood since it isn't directly into the studs as it would be on a normal 16 inch center stud situation. Drop the reel into place with only the top bolts in place, transfer your marks for the bottom holes, take the reel off, drill those bottom holes, put the reel back on, and then bolt it into place with all four bolts. If 
if anyone was curious, this reel will hold 40 feet of one and a half inch shot vac hose. This little bracket to hold the hose wasn't quite as snug as I was expecting, but I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. This duster has a really cool feature, at least I thought so, where you can actually adjust the friction of the roller so the hose will come off the reel quicker or slower, and it also makes it more or less difficult to reel it back up just with a tightening of a T-nut. Well, there we are guys and what a huge improvement right over here i'm able to hang up all my table saw jigs i'll get around to that and it is so nice to have that 40 foot reel of hose i can get to all corners of the shop that i was not able to reach before yes there is a little bit of suction loss but i'm able to pick up everything that i had over there and the cyclone is still able to separate so that is good in my book. Rockler does recommend that you have at least a five horsepower shop back. I have a five and three quarter horsepower, so I should be good there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hammer that thumbs up button. Helps us out a ton and gets this video in front of more eyes. I'm DIY Tyler, and you guys have a good one.